Welcome back, everybody, to this day's news. God damn, is there a lot of news to cover on the latest stream. So today we're going to be covering the supers as well as two abilities that I noticed that were interesting. Now, for the supers, it's quite intriguing because you still see Ikora, Cade, and um, Zavala with their regular supers. But the minute you start off, you have different supers automatically, which... I find interesting and both fun, but I don't know if that's because of the trailer, well, trailer and short gameplay, or if it's just to really emphasize that, hey, we got new supers. Now, let's start off with the, the Warlock. I won't be explaining this one, I'll break it down after, but uh, I'll just let the developers themselves actually break this one down. You can cast your super, you've got your sword, and you're flying over everyone, and you can just rain down fire phoenix projectiles that just decimate people now as you guys heard the dawn blade which is the new warlock uh, solar super is able to summon a sword now what i noticed is most of these have this theme and you'll see the theme at the end of it but um with this sword you can swing it like the regular swords used to be able to do you could also slam it like the young wolf's howl which i don't know if it does a debuff or not well we'll see if it does and then you can also throw projectiles. And this one came out as a big shocker to me because, one, it's a sword. And two, it's, it's adding three elements to it. You can, you know, melee on the ground, melee from above. But at the same time, you can hit people from a range. I don't know if it's got a limited range where it's going to cut off or not. But we'll just have to see how this is actually going to work out. The next super is the Titan Super, the Sentinel. And I'll let the developers once again just explain this one. The Sentinel is a Titan and he is able to summon a shield that he can just knock his opponents out with. We can throw his shield and just bang it off dude's heads. So as you guys heard, they the Titan is able to summon a shield. Now, this is very similar to the bubble and I find it pretty interesting because a bubble Titan summons it to defend and in this case they're actually just summoning a single shield what they failed to actually explain from the shield is yes you can you know block attacks and throw the shield you can also use it for melee attacks and that's actually a really cool element you can block and then get close enough to melee just like with the swords that we have now but i'm sure that you know it won't take away super energy if you block an extensive amount of damage and I'm sure there's also a limit, like something like a golden gun could probably break that shield. I'm assuming. But we'll see if golden guns are actually still in the game or not. We have no idea yet. But yeah, you can block bo incoming projectiles and damage. You can uh, also block whoever's behind you. Thankfully, you can help support your teammates if they're in a little bind. And then... You can also use it as a melee attack, so just, you know, hit somebody, as you see in the uh, the gameplay. You can just swing at them and do some damage, or you can throw it. And this is possibly another one of the concepts that I understand and I actually appreciate. They're taking the concept from Captain America, where he can throw his shield and the vibranium will come back and whatnot. That's amazing. Not all the time will it come back, but it, it's honestly amazing. It's, it's something that you see from growing up watching these superheroes that now you really are the superhero. The next one is the Hunter Super, the Arc Strider, and we'll finish it off with the developers. And then you have the Arc Strider. They summon this mystical staff and wield it like a crazy acrobat, cracking enemies in the head. It's awesome. As you guys heard, the Arc Strider can summon a staff. Or spear. I I think it looks more like a spear than a staff, but you know, you sound kind of wimpy if you got a staff. What I like about this one, other than being a hunter main, you can use it, it as they say, acrobatically. Now, the Blade Dancer was supposed to be somewhat of a fast and acrobatic class as well, but you could only go in linear fashion. And it was kind of underwhelming. Maybe with this change, with the staff, you can actually go in multiple directions as you hit. You don't have to necessarily be within range of somebody. You actually have that speed. But I love the quick pace, the maneuverability that it will give you. 
as well as the slam. Right at the end, you see him jumping and slamming on the ground, and that's another one that I won't know truly until we get the game. We won't know if it's like a Titan Slam. He'll slam the ground and do an area AoE damage, or will he do single damage? But that's something that I'm looking forward to. Now, before I finish, I noticed two things that you might not have noticed during the stream. Is that there are two types of rifts, and I'm sure there's even a third one. But there's a healing rift and an empowering rift. Now, the healing rift, clear, clear as day in the gameplay, you just stand in it. When there's a small pause of no damage, you heal yourself up. Your, your shields come back, your health comes back instantly. Then there's the empowering one. Which I can clearly see that you take, it's like a debuff in damage for the enemies, you take less damage from them. But at the same time, I, I couldn't tell if it increased damage because the moment uh, the player used that buff, the empowering rift, you got, he was using the grenade launcher so you couldn't tell and nobody could see if the damage was being increased or not. But I really hope it would be a small increase in damage, not a massive one, something to help out with, uh, with ads. But anyways, honestly, the new supers look amazing. I like the concept of using melee-style weapons, the sword, the spear, or staff, if you want to call it, and the shield. It's got a real vibe of, you know, Greek and Roman periods with the soldiers, which is something Bungie is not, a you know, a stranger to. The Spartans and the Spartan program from Halo was all developed with the idea of the original Spartans from Greece. So you can see them coming up with that same creative background which I actually enjoy and it gives you a link to the real world that there really was a past but that's it for me guys I really enjoyed all this we still have more to cover we have plenty of stuff about the new campaign the uh, the what's it called we got strikes nightfall raid news crucible news plenty of crucible news god damn Honestly, I'm really shocked by what they've done with Crucible, but you guys will find out in the next part where we'll be covering the Crucible. But that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when we got another video coming up. It should be very shortly. I'm trying to upload and record and edit all this in bulk and get as much news out as quickly as possible to make sure everybody is informed because a lot of people didn't get to see. That's it for me, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one.